Iba kasi yung feeling na kapag pumapadya ka, tapos makigulat ka ibang lugar na. Mararamdaman mo yung fresh air, mararamdaman mo yung sunlight, mararamdaman mo na ang laki-laki ng bundok sa maliit mong problema. Takes me away from the hustle and bustle of life. Ito ko nga. Sa pagbabayik, makakabigay na relax sa katawan. It gives you a lot of independence. What do you need? A biker can get you in the whole world. The worsening traffic condition in Metro Manila actually pushed me to learn how to ride a bike. One morning, I had to walk. I would have to exert effort din naman in walking. So I might as well find something else to, to help me. The first ride na ginawa ko po nung nakuha kayo ng bike na yun was from Marikina going to Moa, here in Moa. When I was first hired here at SM, I noticed there are a lot of cyclists here in Moa. So I'm like, hey, why don't I start bike commuting? You don't really get a feel for a place in your car. But on your bike, you can really feel the breath of wind. A couple of weeks ago, in my country, the Prime Minister went to reside went to the king to present his resignation. He took the bike. And that's what we do with our country. When you are a cabinet minister or a worker, you take your bike. Since nito ang pandemic, uh, apektuhan po nito eh, isang tourism industry. Mas a breadwinner, challenging po talaga yung part din sa akin na nag-cause ako ng anxiety, depression. Diyan yung bike ko para talagang ibalik ako dito sa real world. So nag-start ko ako mag-online business. Then ginagamit ko nga po itong bike ko para sa mga deliveries. Nag-desisyon po ako mag-bike dahil nung pandemic din dahil walang masakyan. Isa din para makatipid ng pamasahe. Ang ayaw ko lang uh, sa pagbabike ma'am yung umuulan dahil mabasa. Ako po, mabasang basa talaga. It's very difficult to navigate the Metro Manila roads because people are not really aware of the culture of sharing the road. I enjoy cycling and I enjoy being on the road, but my priority is really safety. Copenhagen had all the problems that other big cities have going back in the 60s. Too many cars, congestion, too much pollution parents being afraid of letting their kids going out on the bikes and so forth. It was civil society together with the decision makers in the town hall of Copenhagen that made the decision that something has to change. If motorists were more considerate of bikers, then I would consider. My first week of bike commuting, it didn't have a bike lane then. I actually rode on the sidewalk. I had to experience all the potholes and the uneven pavements. I thought of sharing in social media, and that's when I started my Facebook page, Manila Moves, making sure that people are equipped with knowledge when they decide to shift to cycling as transport. When the lockdown hit the world, particularly the Philippines, there was no other safer way to travel but to bike. I was aware that people ride here. I wasn't aware that it was this kind, na dami pala talaga. It started from two third generation C family. They themselves saw how difficult it was for their own employees and the tenants of SM malls to come to work. If you want to promote biking, you have to make it easy for people to get to their bike, make it easy and make it safe. Each mall is talking to their specific LGUs so that they can work together in not just putting in the infrastructure but also creating educational campaigns.
see now cities and municipalities having protected bike lanes. I've noticed lately, cyclists are more compliant now with the road rules and regulations. I've also noticed motorists are kinder now to cyclists, so which is something that's good. In some other countries, they promote biking not just as a mode of transportation, but as a way of life. Biking is completely ingrained in our culture. Amsterdam is also an old city, so there is not that much space, so we have to decide who will have the priority. Well, they decided to give priority to, to the bikes. Copenhagen is again and again also the most bike-friendly city in the world. But this very good situation didn't come overnight. It's a long process that started some 40 years ago. It's an ongoing process where we want to get more and more people onto their bikes. The goal is to make cycling and walking useful, safe, attractive and comfortable for everyone. It will be great to see biking as a culture para sa ikaw ng ating bansa. Yeah.